Hello and welcome to Spy Money. Uh, I'm going to do a morning recap. Uh, this is Friday, uh, the 28th of February. And la uh, yesterday, I was thinking that um, the market would probably stop on this trend around the 2447 or so. It came down, bounced through the fib, and then com started coming up. And yeah, you know, late last night before I went to bed, I, you know, it looked like it was actually going up. It was above the VWAP. Uh, it was getting ready to go over the 15. Um, uh, the people that know me know if you're following the channel, the 15 is my main um, um, indicator that I use. If it is over the 15, then it's probably good to go. If it's under the 15, then it's you know still in puts. So it ended up, before I went to bed last night, it looked like it was actually going up, but it ended up reverting down. So again uh, we're making new lows again so if we go ahead and look at where we are going we have a fib right here which is 2812 and then we have you know the money uh, the 618 that's my magical number uh, that one's 2706 will we go there today you know it's friday they always sell off on friday the bears are in control right now the bears are loving you know, making all this money. Uh, so, you know, will we get to there? Very well, possibly uh, do it. Uh, we've been dropping between 100, 150 points a day. And, you know, this is only 29.47. This is um, 27.06. So that's 150 points right there. So very well, possibly might drop down to this. I think that this would definitely be our bottom is what I would guess. I thought we were you know, I keep saying the bottom, 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 but um, if you look at where we have been, uh, let's go back to a one hour. Um, if you look at this, I mean, we keep on hitting the fibs and then it wants to bounce and then it drops. It broke through here and then bounced on the bottom. Of course, we know if it's bouncing off the bottom, it's more than likely going to keep on going. Again, it did the same thing here and then come up. You know, it looked like we were going to break through. It was actually through the um, through the 15 there. So being through the 15, you know, I thought that it would um, go ahead and go up here, but it ended up selling off again. It just keeps on wanting more. Again, the bears are in control right now. Um, it is not the bulls. The bulls have lost all control. Where will the bulls uh, step in? I uh, don't know for sure. Uh, only they know. But it looks like we're going to go ahead and sell off more today. And, you know, I would not be getting into anything long term. If you're uh, going to do anything today, maybe get, um, you know, uh, possibly maybe some puts today. And just, but you're going to have to scalp them. I would not swing anything over the weekend. Uh, personal opinion. And, you know, then again, you know, you may get in some puts and it, you know, drop another 100 points by Monday. Who knows? But I think, you know, the 618 is a magical number. You can Google it. Um, I really believe that this would definitely be the bottom, in my opinion. But don't make any trades based off what I say. Do your own due diligence and make sure you're trading the way that uh, you feel that it should be. But you look at this, it's just straight down. And we broke right through that. So... You know, with us breaking through that and then coming on down, I mean, we're not far from the magical number. Now, who's to say we won't keep on going? We don't know. I did not think we would break this last night. I thought we would actually stick to it and just keep going. But it's already selling off. Uh, you know, we're down, you know, almost 2% right now uh, for the day. So, and that's um, since uh, 6 o'clock yesterday evening, we're down 2%. And it's been dropping, you know, a lot. I think we are now, let's see where we are from the beginning. Uh, let's see, actually, if I start from down here. The the very bottom drop all the way up, we are 15% over, uh, what is that, about five, um, five, six, about six trading days, I guess. So, you know, that's where we are. So if we go from here. To right there that's a total of nine days but you take out um, two days for the weekend so we're looking at about seven trading days that we're down this far and Friday's not over um, you know we still have until five o'clock on this thing 
So uh, be careful in your trades today. Um, the VIX, uh, let me hit the VIX real quick. Um, the VIX is going out of control. It's, I mean, it went all the way to 47.15. Uh, I would, you know, whoever's watching this, I would get into your puts. Uh, puts is what you need on VIX. And because when the market reverses, which would be soon, this would drop down below 20 in just no time. It only takes, um, uh, usually when it gets to the high, it's uh, usually between 3 and 8 days when it's down below the 20. So if you get your puts on VIX right now, you're going to make some money. Uh, I have them April 1st, uh, strike price 16. That's where I've been buying and I think, um, you know, if we're right now, we're at 41, so we're probably looking at dropping um, probably 22 points or so is when this will drop over a period of about a week or so. You can see here it was running around 15 before everything took off. Uh, it will more than likely come back to that 15 area, you know, 14, you know, uh, between uh, 14 and a half to 16, somewhere on through there. I think it's where we're going to be in a matter of about a week. So if you're up here at 47, you know, and I'm sure it's probably going to take off because the market's dropping, and you can see this thing is already climbing. With it already climbing, you know, I think we'll make a new high. And honestly, I kind of hope we do. If we make a new high, I want this drop to just hurry up and happen. Um, and then, you know, as soon as it does, then hopefully the market will start rallying. And when it does, the VIX will start dropping a, a lot. So my pits will make me a lot of money here. And then if the market rebounds, uh, like I think it will, and if you go back to if we go back to here and then look at the daily, uh, you can see here that every time the market sold off like this, it just really took off. So I don't think it'll take too long for it to come back. And if we look at, uh, say, from here to here, this was last December. Uh, when we had that huge one, and to go from right here up to that line there, uh, that took, um, to get all the way back, it took 125 days to get back to where we were. That's 27% though. Uh, we're not down 27%. We are, if you look at this one, there's 11, so it actually dropped further than that. And if we look at this right here, uh, 17%, so that's a, really about where we are now, and that took 57 days. So you're looking at two months to get back what dropped in just a matter of, you know, a week. And that's about where we are now. Uh, if you look over here, you know, we are from right here up, we're 15%. So we're the same drop from there to here as what we are from here to there. Uh, hopefully it will stop here. Uh, it may come on down. It could even come down to this one here. This is your bottom trend. Uh, this is an ascending broadening wedge pattern. I don't think that it's going to do that. I think that's probably going to fizzle out right on through here. Uh, let me... If it hits right here, then I see that this market will probably hit like that. So... And whenever it goes up, it's not going to stop at that wedge. It's going to keep on going. Or that trend line, it's going to keep on going. Uh, based on patterns that I've been watching. So uh, that's our morning uh, recap to see where we are, uh, what I think is going to happen. Again, it is. Um, it all depends on which, um, which one we hit. I mean, if we come all the way down here, let me hit this real quick just to see a percentage. Um... So you're looking at 26%. That's about what December did. So there's a chance it may just keep on going. And if it does, then, you know, if it if we keep going down through here, I'll just get in more pits for SPY, uh, make up for, you know, the calls that I'm probably going to lose out on, and go ahead and just dump more money on the SPY pits and just ride it out and just make a bunch of money there. So it'll make up for, they call it hedging. It'll make up for the money I lost in the calls, which I can still come out on. But uh, if it comes down to the blue line, I doubt very seriously that any of the calls I have will have enough time to get out. Because if it comes down here, you're looking you know, six months to come out of it. Uh, if we stop rolling through here, then you know, we're you know, probably going to be okay. If you have 30-day um, calls, if you got 30 days left, which would be the end of March, March 20, uh, you're probably looking at not getting your money back. If you have April calls, then you're probably going to be okay. 
um, possibly. Uh, depending on where it stops, if it comes to blue line, uh, you're going to need you know calls that are uh, six months away in order to probably come out of those. So uh, you'll have a great day. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you all probably tonight. I'll make some more videos. Um, you know, as far as where we are, what I think is going to happen over the weekend, and this weekend I'm going to try to make some more videos based on how to set some patterns and stuff. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys.